Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Welcome all of you who are visiting with us today and especially welcome our guests from around the Diocese of Ohio that have been here for the happening weekend this, this, since Friday evening. They'll be leaving around two or so this afternoon. But what came for those who have heard the reports of the demise of the church? Ah, uh -uh. it is alive and well. And these young people are a good example of that. The back of the t-shirt says it's never too late to become something new. And it's wonderful to see God bringing something new as the church coming into being and their presence and their, their leadership in the coming years. And now, and they will be leading our worship today. So I hope you'll sit back and enjoy it. I also want to tell you if you enjoyed Jacob's prelude, make sure you stay around for the post loop. I've heard it on YouTube and it's incredible. So I hope we appreciate Jacob playing for us today. And it's also nice. Notice our choir and Tim, we gave the morning off because they have a big afternoon this afternoon for that. Four o'clock, you're all invited back to join us. And we have our festival even song as part of our continuing 175th anniversary celebration. We have about 15 to 16 voices combined choirs from St. Peter's and Grace. The music is spectacular. So I invite you to join us back at 4 o'clock for that. It will be available to online if you're not able to see it, but I hope you can be here with us for that. I will be on vacation this week, so there will be none of the Lenten activities, the online prayer, the Holy Eucharist on Wednesday, or the Bible study on Friday. But uh, in case of a pastoral emergency or in need, you can get over Father Daniel or contact Pam in the office, and she'll be sure to find someone who, who can help you with any situation you might have. What else am I forgetting? I think that's most of it for now. I will tell you, I encourage you to continue those making contributions for humanitarian aid in Ukraine. We've received so far a little over $1,500, I think, which means that's a little over $3,000 when, when we match it out of the outreach fund. So I encourage you to make the best you heard by saying you can match it out of the outreach fund. And, the, and to be generous, you can put it in the, in the box there or just in the offering plate. Yes. Anna, is there anything you need to tell us before we get started? Our celebrant today is the Reverend Anna Sutterich, who is the canon for Christian formation and youth director for the Diocese of Ohio. You met her when she was here about a month ago, so she's back with us. Then you'll get to know the youth as we go through the service a little bit, I think. Thank you.
Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Holy Wisdom, in your loving kindness you created and restored us when we were lost. Inspire us with your truth that we may love you with our whole minds and run to you with open hearts through Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, through the earth should change, through the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. Through its waters roar and form, though the mountain tremble with its trump. trump. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitat for the world habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. A reading from Colossians. God loves you and has chosen you as his own special people. So be gentle, kind, humble, meek, and patient. Put up with each other and forgive anyone who does you wrong, just as Christ has forgiven you. Love is more important than anything else. It is what ties everything completely together. Each one of you is part of the body of Christ, and you were chosen to live together in peace. So let the peace that comes from Christ control your thoughts, and be grateful. Let the message about Christ completely fill your lives, while you use all your wisdom to teach and instruct each other. With thankful hearts, sing songs, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. Whatever you say or do should be done in the name of the Lord Jesus, as you give thanks to God the Father because of him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people.
church this weekend and happening is a spiritual retreat led by youth for youth and part of the structure of happening is hearing testimonies from different high schoolers and afterwards um, they play a song that connects to their testimony and we thought why not make Hannah do her testimony in front of everyone <laughs> um, so we welcome our dear friend Hannah Burnett who will be giving the last talk of the retreat and as part of our tradition we invite you into the happening tradition which is to listen to Hannah's talk then we will pray our happening prayer which I'll bring up um, which we totally have memorized already and then we'll listen to a song that Hannah has chosen um, at the end of the weekend, we'll, we'll have a playlist of songs that hopefully will connect us back to these testimonies and um, be reminders of the love that God has for us. So we welcome Hannah, who is giving the talk entitled Apostleship. Can you grab this one? So Anna introduced Happening a little bit. I'll go into a little bit more in depth of what it is. So this entire weekend, we've had a group of Happeners here, and it was planned by a group of high schoolers and college students. And the college students and the high schoolers were called the staff, and Happeners are the youth from the high school areas around here. And the intention of this event is to help the youth who attend the event to deepen their relationship with God to gain a better understanding of all the ways that they can live with faith in their own lives. Throughout the weekend, they got to hear what we call talks. These came from the staff members. 
and it was about their own relationships with God, the church, and being a part of the community needs to them. They were able to talk in groups after these talks and do different activities to reflect on the testimonials. Sorry, Hannah. I think we might always be distracted by the noise. Yeah. So, I wonder if we can figure that out. And then we have it here in this one of these where it's going to be called. I'll just start over. Yes. We're just distracted. Yes. <laughs> I told you we're going to win this service. Yeah. Go. It's going to be great. All right. So, as I was saying, this is an event called Happening. And the entire weekend was planned by a group of high schoolers and college students. And this group was called Staff. The staff worked very hard over the past few months to make this weekend so special for what we call the Happeners, who are the, the high school age students who are attending the event for the first time. The inter intention of the event is to help the youth who attend to deepen their relationship with God and to gain a better understanding of all the ways that they can live with faith in their own lives. Throughout the weekend, they got to hear the staff do talks about their own relationship with God and the church and what being a part of this community means to them. They were able to then go into small groups and talk and do different activities to reflect on each talk. Happeners were able to have fun and experience growth this weekend, but the bigger question that we asked them is how can they take what they've experienced and learned this weekend and use it to help others? You may think, as happeners, that this event ends as soon as you leave this church today. We say our goodbyes and that's that. But that isn't exactly true. The goal of happening is to help all of us. Happeners, staff, and the adults who helped out hopefully discovered a deeper personal knowledge of and relationship with God. In doing this, we come to understand that God's love is for everyone and we're able to embrace a stronger commitment to apostleship which simply means to be an apostle, and an apostle is someone who is sent forth. In Jesus' day, the disciples were all apostles because they were sent forth to spread the good news. Just as after this weekend, you're being sent forth back to your schools and home parishes to spread what you've learned this weekend about Christ and his love. We're called to be apostles in the baptismal covenant when we take our promises, one of which is to continue the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the breaking of the bread and the prayers. This means that we should be active members of our church community, hopefully by attending church services when possible. The baptismal covenant also asks us to proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ. This ask wants us to make our own lives good and faithful examples to others by what we say and do, meaning sometimes just by living a faithful life and being a kind and helpful person, you can encourage others to do the same, and that is being an apostle. We also promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves. This means that we should love and care for others in the same way that we should love and care for ourselves. The last promise we make in the baptismal covenant is to strive for justice and peace among all people. Respect the dignity of every human being. Similar to loving your neighbor as yourself, we promise to see and treat all people as equal. We're agreeing to get involved in ministries for peace and justice in an effort to help others in need. This could mean volunteering at local food pantries, going on mission trips, or even just putting bags of necessities together for local homeless shelters. By doing these things, you're acting as an apostle. As you can see, being an apostle in your everyday life doesn't have to be some huge act or taxing thing you do. In fact, most of you probably act as apostles without even realizing it. Certainly, all of the staff at this happening event are apostles this weekend. They use their time and energy to make this event special and beneficial to the happeners. Having been on staff twice and planning an entire happening in 2020 that never actually happened. Say less. Say less. <laughs> I have found that I get just as much out of these events as I give, if not more. When you share your experiences with your, of your faith with others and you help see them grow in their journey, it's a very rewarding feeling because ultimately you're helping to spread love. I personally think that spreading love throughout the world to anyone you can is one of the most important things you can do. And that is exactly what you're doing as an apostle and as a member of staff here this weekend. So my challenge to all of you, not just the happeners and the staff, but everyone, is to leave here today, whether you were a happener, whether you were a staff, everyone, and go to your parish, find some way in your day-to-day -day life that you can be an apostle and spread love. Now I do have one final thing to share before you, share with you. So, my introducing my song, as I mentioned before, and Anna mentioned, all the staff pick songs. 
And my song, I thought long and hard about it, and at the end of the day, it's being an apostle is about spreading love, it's about being change. So my song is called American Dream, and it's by an artist named Ray Zaragoza. And she talks about how hate can't be a part of the American dream, and that we can be the change, and that we can spread the love. So I thought that that was just perfect about being an apostle, and we're able to increase the amount of love shown in the world, and ultimately lead to a better, more loving, less hateful world. So if I can invite you all to say the prayer, and then we can hear the song. technical difficulties. It is encouraging to see young people having trouble with tech too. <laughs>
together turn to the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, in prayer. We pray for your wonderful creation, the earth and its streams, mountains, creatures, and plants. Remind us anew of your wonderful gift of creation and empower each of us in live ways to live in ways that honor your intent for us, your human caretakers. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this holy gathering and for all the people of God in every place. May the Church Universal be faithful to your call to help bring about your kingdom on the earth as it is in heaven. Lord, in mercy. We pray for all the leaders of the world that, that, that they may make wise choices for everyone and that they may lead us to honor and respect all people. May their words and actions lead away from oppression and violence and towards peace and possibility. Lord, in mercy. We pray for those who live without resources to take for granted. We give thanks for the people and ministries who seek to help provide food, health, health care, and shelter for those in need, and we ask that you would bless and expand their efforts. Lord, in mercy, we give thanks for the loving support of our congregations, give to our youth, and their ministries. We pray that through all the ministries of our church, we would faithfully serve Christ in our community and the world. We pray for those who do not understand or have not experienced your love, that they may seek a deeper knowledge of you. We pray for your love to touch those who are holding today, including the ones on our congregational, congregational prayer list. Lord and mercy. God, you are our loving parent. Meet us now with open arms. Continue. Let us confess our sins to God.
Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through the grace of Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of Christ be always with you. And also with you. Again, welcome. I want to tell you a little bit about how we receive communion for those who are visitors here. We receive here at the steps. Anna will have the bread and may sit, stand, or kneel. And then I'll have an intention cup for those who choose to, to dip their, bre their, 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 their wet bread in the wine standing there. And that's how we will receive communion. I think Anna may have an announcement or two for you. Or the PMI. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> I'm Emma and I am the rector for this happening event, so I was like in charge of it. So we all just want to say thank you for being great hospitality service. And we wrote you guys a thank you note. And it says, Grace Church, thank you so much for hosting us this weekend. We greatly appreciate your hospitality. We couldn't have asked for a better church or a better parishioner to take on our event from happening, 2022. <laughs> Let us walk in love. tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin, 
By his grace, we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore, joining with angels and archangels and with the faithful of every generation, we lift our voices with all creation as we say, Holy, 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 Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of the universe and giver of life. You formed us in your own image and called us to dwell in your infinite love. You gave the world into our care that we might be your faithful stewards and show forth your bountiful grace. But we failed to honor your image in one another and in ourselves. We would not see your goodness in the world around us. And so we violated your creation, abused one another, and rejected your love. Yet you never ceased to care for us and prepared the way of salvation for all people. Through Abraham and Sarah, you called us into covenant with you. You delivered us from slavery, sustained us in the wilderness, and raised up prophets to renew your promise of salvation. Then in the fullness of time, you sent your eternal word, made mortal flesh in Jesus, Born into the human family and dwelling among us, he revealed your glory. Giving himself freely to death on the cross, he triumphed over evil, opening the way of freedom and life. On the night before he died for us, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ is alive. Remembering his death and resurrection, we now present to you from your creation this bread and this wine. By your Holy Spirit, may they be for us the body and blood of our Savior Jesus Christ. Grant that we who share these gifts may be filled with the Holy Spirit and live as Christ's body in the world. Bring us into the everlasting heritage of your children, that with all your saints, past, present, and yet to come, we may praise your name forever. Through Christ, and with Christ, and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins and we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the harm of our hearts and deliver us from evil. Remain the power and the glory of our Lord. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us eat the peace. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God.
Please rise in spirit or body as we join in the post-communion prayer on page 16. Let us pray. Loving God, we give you thanks for restoring us to your image and nourishing us with spiritual food and sacrament of Christ's body and blood. Now as a form of people, forgive me. of God, the love of God, and the grace of God strengthen you to be Christ's hands and heart in this world, in the name of the Holy Trinity. Amen. Amen.
love and serve the Lord. Thank you. 